because they brought it to somebody who's competent enough to not do this! This 17-inch HP laptop may as well have walked up to me and said, I'm a giant asshole, because look at this. You see this hard drive? Okay, there's a feature that hard drives have. These little things here, you see You see these little, little silver areas, right? Right, there's here and there's here. Yeah, that's where screws go. You put screws in. I know this might seem like a bit of a strange thing, but you usually put screws into something to hold it into the computer. HP has decided instead that they're going to glue the hard drive. I've got my pry tool in here, and the hard drive is very literally glued in place. I can't get this godforsaken thing to come up. Look, you can even see the drive lifting, but because it's got some kind of adhesive nonsense back there, I can't get it out. And the problem is, if this was like mounted on some kind of metal or glass, that'd be fine. I'd hit the other side with a heat gun. But it's not mounted on metal or glass. What's it mounted on? It's mounted on the plastic shell. And you know what happens if you hit a plastic shell like this with a heat gun? It melts. It shrinks up and it bubbles and it ruins the computer. So now I've got this hard drive that I don't even know if I can physically get out of the computer. And even if I do, it may be destroyed. It's a good thing I'm taking it out to replace it with a solid state drive. But this just really infuriates me. And I have a hard time believing that someone else did that. Now if I find out that someone else did that, it's still ridiculous. But if this is the way it comes from the factory, I'm angry. Although frankly, I have a sneaking suspicion that this has been replaced in the past because I'm looking and these notches are exactly where a caddy would go. I'm betting some jerkwad glued this hard drive in place. Some jerkwad who is not me. Um, yeah, this, this kind of nonsense, this, first of all, this is why you have to be careful who you take your computer to. Make sure you take it to someone who actually knows what they're doing and is highly regarded. But also, this is not right. Like, if you, if you have a computer, okay, and you have a hard drive, and you need to get it in, and you don't have the original caddy, what you do with something like this, where the cable's just loose, you don't have to put some kind of extremely strong adhesive. All you have to do is tape it. And in, in fact, with this kind of computer, the way that the other end is, like you can see the other side of this, it's got this padding. You, you don't even have to tape it. You can just put foam or something and you're done. That's it. It's ridiculous. I'm angry. So, I just got the hard drive up. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See that? See that garbage right there? You know what that is? You know what that is? I'll tell you what that is. That's double-sided tape. Two pieces of double-sided tape. And one of them's on this ribbon. And this ribbon's required for this board over here that has the USB port on it to connect. So I've got to get this double-sided tape off of this ribbon safely somehow, too. And it's got this residue, and the ribbon came on tape. This is ridiculous. But I've not known the manufacturers to use double-sided tape like this, and I, uh, I haven't, I mean, I haven't, I can't get this off safely easily, so I'm not even going to be able to tell you if this has some kind of a Dell or HP, whatever it is, part number, because the tape's covering it up. But I can tell you one thing right now, this is not appropriate. This is not how you put one of these in these computers. Oh man, I don't know what kind of problems could have been caused by this. But now that I'm looking at it, this looks like double-sided tape with the backing not removed as well. And in fact, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so what has happened here, I'm just gonna call it, another technician did something in this computer and this hard drive has double-sided tape on both sides because whoever this other person is, they didn't know what they were doing. I swear to God, if it was someone who worked for me in the past that did this, I'd smack them. But clearly this has been replaced and some idiot used double-sided tape instead of using a proper hard drive caddy. I don't know who that idiot is, but they shouldn't ever work on computers again. This is stupid. I do not like it. Okay. Don't know, but one more follow-up on this stupid, sticky hard drive situation. 
So because whoever it is is an idiot and didn't put the caddy back, I don't have the proper mount for this solid state to not just rattle around inside the computer. And the drive that I took out, I mean, it, it's a slim drive, but still there could be some looseness. So it doesn't matter because of the SSD. An SSD is just not, shock isn't gonna bother it. So they put this double-sided tape here already. Um, what I'm worried about is that it's going to wiggle and the customer is going to wonder, what's that noise? I don't have the caddy, so I don't have the proper way to attach it, and I'm not stupid, so I'm not doing this stupid double-sided tape stupidness. So instead, here's what I do. I like to put something to pad it out. Paper towel. This is literally a bounty paper towel. I ripped an end off. See that? You see that? And here, look, it's, just, it, it's the easiest thing in the world. You just slap a folded over bounty towel right there, and you put the hard drive down. Oh look, now it's there, and the double-sided tape will squish it, but because it's a paper towel, it will flatten out like that as needed, and it'll kind of hold the drive in place and cushion it, and that'll be the end of that. And I won't ever have to deal with it again. But, you know, whoever took the caddy out screwed me a bit here, and I just want to smack him for doing this. This is stupid. Don't use double-sided tape inside of a computer. Come on, people! So that's what I'm going to do just to keep it from doing too much moving around and rattling. It'll get squeezed a little bit, and that'll keep it from moving, and that's all the customer's going to care about. These uh, cheaper SSDs don't really get hot, so I'm not too worried about draining the heat off of them. And everything will be fine. You know, because they brought it to somebody who's competent enough to not do this! Oh yeah, so uh, you know, the uh, laptop with the stupid double-sided tape hard drive nonsense? I had to break out my old friend, Loctite Plastic Bonding Epoxy, and fix up this hinge, because the hinge is way too tight, and unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to fix that anytime soon, but... If I fix this up with epoxy, it doesn't matter very much. Um, two of the three mounts were broken, and I could feel something shaking, and once this thing snapped together, it kind of helps reinforce it. So yeah, had to uh, whip out the epoxy, because it wasn't bad enough that some idiot did this. Of course, I also have to fix a hinge that wasn't part of the plan. Oh well, all in a day's work.